Why are you married and not wanting sex? What has happened? What went on in your life that has caused you to shut down? It has caused you to feel like you don't want sex, maybe it's a sin, or to be afraid that you are being used or taking advantage of. What has happened? You know, I've been coming on here twice a week trying to share with you what God's Word says. And today, I want to pray for you because I know that if you've survived some type of trauma, you have some type of need or loss, it can affect your thinking and that can affect your body. And when that happens, it can cause a problem with your marriage. I heard a report from USA Today that said 15% of marriages uh, in the U.S. are sexless. And then I believe in the same part of that article, it talked about this can be the cause of divorce and that it's probably around a third or so. I'm not sure where they get their information or their statistics, but I know according to the Word of God, you don't have to be in that situation. You can have a fulfilling sex life. You can enjoy sex and the trauma, the needs, the losses of your past do not have to affect you. Jesus died on the cross for you to be able to have a life and have it more abundantly. Now, I know there are going to be people who pick through this message and don't agree. Then this is not for you. Cut it off right now. But for those of you who know that there's something better out there for your sex life, for those of you who know that God is the author of sex, He created it, and He doesn't want you in a marriage where you're not fulfilled and your spouse isn't fulfilled, And that you know that he has equipped you to be able to be the, uh, be in the sexual relationship, I should say, that that you and your spouse need. If you believe that, then I want to pray for you today. I want to take God's word and speak over your life because you are more than a conqueror in this situation. The Bible says we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. He loves you and he wants the best for you. He doesn't want you struggling. He doesn't want you holding on to the past. He doesn't want you trying to get your own revenge and your own closure or whatever else. He wants to heal you completely so that when you walk by that person or you see that person who has harmed you or hurt you, you'll say, oh, that was them? And it won't even affect you. He wants you so clean, so clear, so free, so whole that none of that matters that that satan cannot use whatever has happened in your past against you so let's pray father we come in the name of jesus and i come on behalf of this listener right now who may be struggling who may be going through something who doesn't want sex with their spouse whose body seems to shut down and their mind seems to tell them no i speak now over that mind that they have the mind of christ and i speak right now oh god that you speak to them and that you guide them and you direct them i thank you that your word in psalms 34 says that you are nigh to a broken heart and you say those of a crushed spirit I speak to your spirit right now listener and I say be healed be whole in Jesus name I thank you right now God that you are their refuge that you're their strength that you're their help Psalm says in in you are very present in the time of trouble father whatever they're going through whatever they're feeling whatever the hurt is whatever the pain I thank you that their deliverance is nigh I thank you God that your healing virtue is flowing from the crown of their 
head to the soles of their feet. Father, you promised in your word that you would bind up the brokenhearted. You promised in your word that you would give liberty to the captive. Father, Isaiah says this in 61. So I thank you right now that you're bringing healing, healing and freedom from trauma and every wound in Jesus' name. I thank you right now, oh God, that they're feeling in their spirit. They're feeling this leaving. And I thank you that we cast this on you because you care for them. I thank you, Father God, that you're supplying all their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Father God, I thank you, oh God, that they survived everything that they survived, that they made it through what they made it through, and that they're stronger now than they've been in their life. Father, as they walk, you're walking with them, and I thank you, Father God, for their marriage. God, I speak unity in their marriage. I speak, oh God, God, that they are as one, that they understand each other, they love one another, and Father, they have sexual pleasure and joy with each other in that marriage in the name of Jesus. Every hidden thing is revealed, and it's cast into the pit in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God, that your word shall not return void, and I thank you, O God, that you said in the Old Testament, when you saw the blood you would pass over. And I thank you that in the New Testament that the blood of Jesus cleanses. So I plead the blood of Jesus on their conscience right now. I plead the blood of Jesus on fear. I plead the blood of Jesus on anxiety. I plead the blood of Jesus on worry. And I thank you right now that they are a new creature in you, in their mind, in their body, in their spirit, and in their sexual relationship with their spouse. Thank you, oh God, that it is renewed. Thank you, oh God, it's joyful, and I thank you, God, that they feel excited and looking forward to it. In Jesus' name, amen. Look, if you need more help, click on the video above and start doing the meditations.